Hi everyone. Now I'm going to discuss about the plan of action for community medicine and dentistry in neat PGI and AIMS point of view. So here I'm going to discuss about few important secrets that you have to apply in your preparation pattern to make your community as the best subject. So before going in details most of us including me when i was preparing we have a phobia towards community i mean the only clinical subject where most of the people feel bored or boring or they have a phobia that community is a very very dry topic or a subject so here the team of mds conquer has decided to make it as easy as possible to crack almost all the mcqs that are going to come in your final examinations okay so according to the plan of action i have split it and identified the important topics that you need to do from this particular subject so apart from these topics there are few other minor topics which will be discussed on the group as a special classes so here goes the topics okay so before going into the topics the weight is for this subject in neat blueprint is 14 marks which includes both community dentistry as well as community medicine few people call it as spm for the medical people social uh, or preventive medicine also okay you can call it as social or preventive dentistry or social or preventive medicine so taking the word preventive into consideration as you know that we have an other weightage in your neat blueprint that is pedodontics and preventive dentistry okay a part of community is again included in pedo so community alone is going to carry somewhere around 14 odd score whereas your preventive medicine or a preventive dentistry has a weightage of 3 to 4 according to me by analyzing the recent neat sessions so community is surely going to carry more than 18 to 20 marks in your final neat exam and it has great weightages in the exams like aims and pga okay the community questions from the new areas or the biostatic statistics related questions or epidermology related application based questions are the most common area of questions for you so taking all these into consideration i have prepared some topics and some sessions for you which are more than sufficient to crack any sort of question within our limitations as we are approaching towards the mid term preparation means you have less than 6 months of the time officially if you consider neat in december second week as every year you have 5 and 1/2 months from now okay so taking all these into consideration i have allocated 14 days for community dentistry including community medicine where i am going to discuss few other areas like preventive dentistry is again a part of many other subjects like pedo and your your preventive orthodontics can also be a indirect question from community medicine okay so simultaneously we are going to talk few topics of pedo which are a part of preventive or few topics of medicine which are part of preventive medicine or even a vaccination vaccination is also a preventive right so vaccination is also a part of community medicine according to many many mcq books okay so the plan is the 14 days plan of action including topics of few other subjects so we are going to make these 14 days as the best phase for community medicine and the preventive dentistry so going into the topics the first important topic i want to stress is the fluorides okay if you have a look fluorides is utmost important topic okay for sure you will have two to three questions only on fluorides in your exams like aims or neat okay so how to do fluorides and everything will be discussed individually on their particular day so fluorides and preventive dentistry i have given two days even caries activities pit and fissure sealants atraumatic restorative treatment or preventive resin restorations or all these part of your preventive dentistry so i have allocated a preventive part of dentistry which includes other preventive areas like the prevention for oral 
cancer or the prevention for periodontal diseases or prevention for many other things will be discussed along with this in this three days. So followed by I have given one day for epidermology and screening. So here you can you can manipulate and use half a day of 24th for this epidermology and preventive and one day completely for screening so that you can you have to manipulate your times and schedules accordingly because i feel like caries test preventive pit and fissure sealants and this preventive resin restorations are not going to take much of your time whereas epidermology screening is going to take much of your time because this topic we are completely unaware so then we have these all indexes and everything. So both we have medical as well as dental indexes, which are important for exam. I hope you are very familiar with dental part and I'll make you more familiar with the medical part with all the MCQs and the classes. So I have given one day for indexes of dental and the medical part. So next comes I have allocated two days for biostatistics. One to learn about the concepts, second day to practice the numericals because you have lots of mathematics related stuff in biostatistics so first base is you need to be very clear with the concepts and the second one you need to practice as many as problems as possible because these are the areas where the paper setters are picking n number of questions in most of the books as well as in the most of the teaching patterns there are few things which are clearly neglected from community medicine as well as the dentistry in dental student point of view that is the school dental health programs okay there are few num few programs you need to make a note about ears you need to make a note about their main concern advantage disadvantage all these are the most commonly asked questions then we need to talk about the finance finance uh, uh, in 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 dentistry okay a small topic in your shogun pater manpower uh, in in dentistry because i have seen n number of questions even in the recent need they have given question on the manpower so you need to learn about these small minor topics which are faded in almost all the books so coming to the concepts of health and disease again a very very important topic related to community medicine okay i have given one day for it i'll be guiding you what to be focused what to be done and everything then comes the environmental and health which is not that important but there are areas where they are asking questions related to the environment soil pollution they are asking questions related to air pollution they are asking questions related to the noise pollution and they are asking questions related to the micronutrients macronutrients okay vitamins and everything are a part of this environmental and health i can allocate one day for it and at most important thing is the recent health schemes recent health schemes i mean they may ask questions related to epidemiology of covid okay the statistics related to the covid okay there may many aspects related to the covid can be asked related to this community and the most important aspect is the agencies okay they may ask you questions related to who okay the most favorite question for the need is the theme of wh the recent theme of who or they may ask you that 2020 what is the theme of who 2010 what is the theme of who the headquarters of who is what are the primary concerns of who there are many other health agencies where they are going to ask you the headquarters year of uh, year in which it is established year in which the new acts came into existence all these numbers scientist names are very very important in community dentistry but excluding the need 2020 question paper related to the community medicine or dentistry rest all papers okay if you go back to the history and just have a look most of the questions in the community are memory based means they may ask you the numbers they may ask you the dates okay dca was formed on Okay, Dental Act came into existence. COPRA came into existence in which year? WH was started in India in which year? So all these uh, questions of the numbers, dates, years, scientist names are, are the favorite choice of the most of the paper setters. Okay, so all those things, uh, whether it's a memory based or a conceptual based or a numerical based or a problematic mathematics related based, everything will be discussed according to the blueprint of uh, according to the blueprint uh, in our discussions okay so i have given one day for these health agencies schemes and xyz and i have allocated three days two and a half days because fifth afternoon is going to be your exam i have allocated two and a half days for your revision where i'm going to discuss the topics or the questions which are stressed in the recent 2017 18 19 uh, and 2020 aims and need including the recent paper of aims which was given five days back 
So this is what our plan of action uh, in which we are going to discuss about the symbols because if you talk about the diagram based questions related to the community medicine, the most commonly asked diagram based questions are the symbols, the symbols of agencies, the health agencies, the symbols or the school dental health program symbols uh, or their emblems. Okay. And uh, the most other areas are the flow charts. Okay. You have different types of data representation. So in such areas, they can ask you even the preventive part, like what are the preventive things that are used they can ask you such questions. All this diagram based stuff will be discussed on the group in the special classes. We'll have a special class on diagram based stuff of community medicine and community dentistry. We'll have a special class on the numbers. We'll have a special class on the uh, dates and years specifically. We'll have a special class on the numerical based stuff that is mathematic related stuff of biostatistics. And at last, that most important thing and the most phobic thing for most of the students is the tests okay they're going to give a condition they're going to give a study and they're going to ask you which test has to be given for this particular case hope you have learned few tests like t test chi square test okay anova test paid t test unpaid t test there are many other tests which are used for quantitative and qualitative data is again a most commonly asked question but for this epidermology as well as the biostatistics you need to learn some concepts then you need to have a vigorous practice so concept is something like a basement and practice is going to give you more confidence to handle the tough questions so this is the rough plan of action okay i'm just going to make an outline the subject is going to carry 14 to 18 marks according to the need blueprint and these are the topics to be focused and few secrets of community will be discussed in your respective classes okay the few topics which i have excluded which are very very important out of which one is COVID-19 there are high chances that they will definitely ask questions on this area so all the things related to COVID-19 in community as well as the general medicine point of view will be discussed right away in this 14 days so this is what the plan and uh, my 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 preference books are these books okay so i want you guys to go ahead uh, with these two books as a reference okay don't read these books okay you may read these books uh, for topics like uh, uh, dental manpower, okay, uh, finance in dentistry, all these topics has to be completely done. Okay, these two topics. If there is any other requirement, I'm going to just inform you on your respective groups as a notification. But these are the two things that you have to do. Rest all, this book acts as a reference. Even the preventive and social medicine, okay, that is PARC has to be a reference book. Okay, I don't want anyone to read these books because we have a limited time for community and we need to do our best. So reading these books is going to give you knowledge but may not give you the exact score what you really deserve. Okay, so uh, for me, okay, there are a few medical topics like for example, uh, uh, you need to do biostatistics, you need to do screening, okay, you, you need to do epidermology, uh, you, you need to do uh, health and environment and few other topics which I'm going to clearly mention on your respective groups from this particular book of Vivek Jain that is preventive and social medicine which includes biostatistics. It's mandatory that everyone has to finish that. And the next preferred book according to me is our book that is that is power play book. Okay, you have your community part. It is well organized. Okay, uh, each each concept is well explained and associatively they have given a problem and they are arranged in a very systemic way and most of the recent questions in many examinations were covered in this community but and i want everyone to finish it as fast as possible uh for 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 more practice you can do either dental pulse or dentist as your preference like which book is available the first preferred book uh, is dentist okay you can start with the dentist community part uh, if you don't have dentist, then you can start with the dental pulse or any of these books is fine as a reference for uh, for for uh, making your concepts more strong. You can practice more MCQs. So the practice purpose, you can use dental pulse and dentist and rest all. Uh, you need to follow the group videos, classes, discussions and X, Y, Z notices. OK, so I'm done for now. OK, uh, I hope you're very clear with the community part and and I give 100 percent of assurance to make community as simple as possible and i promise you that we are going to do some extra stuff 
okay maybe few topics in pharmacology i'm not going to mention them but we are going to do as an extra bonus in this 14 days few topics of pharmacology few topics of pedo few topics of operator dentistry few topics of dental materials and few topics of other subject like miscellaneous we are going to cover few things stay positive stay blessed stay safe at home thank you signing off from p